Hi, welcome to Second Life. This is um, my avatar in Second Life, Pi Merlin, and I'm here to uh, demonstrate a um, gadget uh, which I created to help me move around and to do my building easier. It's called the Builder's Hood, and uh, it attaches to my main screen on the hood. And um, essentially what it allows me to do is to move around a sandbox. Now I'll come to this sandbox which is essentially uh, land, open land, um, which I can come to build in. But it's quite busy uh, and so I really want to build um, up in the air. Now you, I can fly but I'm limited without assist to about 200 metres and I can build up to about 700 metres um, any level. So what this uh, uh, HUD allows me to do is first of all it reses this builder's chair okay nice burst electricity and so I sit on my builder's chair and now it automatically um, positions me on the chair <coughs> so that I face north so if we look at the map facing north and it allows me I've got these commands which you can see um, up down north south east and west now the movement is currently set to five meters and we're actually if you look at this we're set x is our um, east west um, y is our north south z is our up and down so we're at 49 uh, on the east west axis 42 on the north south axis these are meters and 33 on the up down axis um, now our movement is set to 5 so I can go up by 5 meters go down by 5 meters and go north by 5 meters south east or west you may say well ok um, now the beauty is that I've got go to settings and I can increase the distance so I can, uh, currently now I've increased it to 10 so it doubles up so I'll go from 10 to 20 to 40, to 80, to 160, to 320 metres. So I think that's a sufficient uh, height to build from. I'll press return and I travel up. Okay, and I'm relatively. Oh, the one from I made earlier, so I'll just get rid of that. Um, now, uh, we're relatively peace here, so what I can do now is build my um, skybox, build this platform. And this builds me a nice uh, 30 by 30 by 30 box from which I can do my development from, uh, my building from, or scripting, whatever it is I decide I wanted to do today. Now, as it happens, um, I actually don't want to have any walls, I want to be able to see around me. So I'll just get rid of all this. And I want to now set. Uh, I have another f uh, command which I built into this um, hood uh, called plus floors. So I type in at the, at the chat line, local chat, plus floors. Okay, little bug there. Uh, I just need to reset the script. So, so a bit of on the fly coding. Content, new script, add floors, reset script, boom. Done. No, I'm probably going to have to do that on the rest. I wonder if I can do that now. Uh, no. So, plus fours. And, you see that's building me a nice, uh, third, um, I think it's 90 by 90 area to build from. And, um, got quite a bit of um, just information coming out about all the different, there's actually nine objects there which are my floors all being positioned around me. And we also have these builder, builders tools <coughs> which te essentially tell me um, the number of active um, objects around me, the number of agents around me, the number of scripted objects around me and the number of passive objects around me. So 
currently I've got seven active objects detected, four of which are now mine. So scan agents uh, is that little yellow thing to the right. Scan scripted objects is the little red thing to the right. Um, scan passive objects is the four blue thing, and scan uh, active objects. Oh, should be listed and it's not. Builder's chair, panel, panel. So it doesn't seem to list itself. Interesting. Um, then I've got one, obviously, uh, agent detected, which is me. Uh, and then the rest is... It just gives me an indication of, of what sort of activity is going on. Okay, and that's the builder's hood. Thank you very much.